then let's say suppose i have written my name ratan here okay and i make it bold okay right now i want to show it uh, in a different direction okay so not like a flat uh, straight line i want to show it uh, upward sloping so you can see that okay there is a icon like this let's see how it works so what i want is okay so you see that i have angled counter clockwise okay i want to make it vertical it will become vertical like this if i want to make the rotate the text it has become so you can play around it okay so angle like this so whatever the way you may want to take change the direction so this way you, you can change the various direction okay right so this is your uh, this is your what we call as the alignment so we saw the uh, alignment earlier okay left align right align center align and we saw the direction alignment also over here right and then okay so many times you let's say suppose you write ratan over here okay and let us extend it okay so if you see the the row uh, the row width has increased okay now if i want to know see this alignment of this is where okay the alignment is the bottom okay i want i can make the alignment over here also center if i make the center alignment it will come here center i can make the top alignment also so how that alignment will be done this alignment alignment is done from these three icons so if i say that i want central alignment if i click it becomes center you can observe it okay if i say top it has become top alignment so many times in case of formatting etc you may require it so let's say suppose i want to make this a uh, slightly wider because it's a header i want to make it wider and then i want to make the all the alignments as central okay so all of these are now centrally aligned so whatever the way if you want to represent okay so you can work you can play on this kind of now many times you may want to wrap the text so just uh, i give you an idea suppose let's say i am uh, writing india is a great country okay so what happens is this has spilled over here so suppose here if you want to write okay uh, capital of india is new delhi let's say suppose you are writing like this okay so capital of india is new delhi okay. right now what happens is india is a great country is not visible capital of india is over shadowing it so what we can have is we can have an option to either extend it like this extend it like this but when you are using this as a non header okay normal text it may not be a good approach to extend the uh width because it may be like it may be uh uh very long so it is the largest city in terms of population let's say suppose i am not sure but let's say that. now if you click here okay it will become more wider okay it's is it may be the second largest okay let's say okay. so it may become more wider it is not advisable to do this so what we can have is let's say suppose i want to keep this width okay and this i want to keep this width okay i want to include all the items here only so we have an option here okay which is called as your wrap text okay so this wrap text will ensure that whatever you have written over here is wrapped in one cell okay whatever you have written over here is wrapped in one cell so let us see how it can be done i click here and press wrap text so what happens is this column this row width has increased and everything is included in this text let's see press wrap text now you have in this entire place you have included the information this is a very good way to include lots of information in one cell so that is your wrap text okay now let us remove all of this item okay many times you may want to let's say include uh information in two cells in one so let's say suppose i want to merge these two cells so why i may want to merge okay let's say suppose i want to make it like kind of attractive okay information i may want to merge this cell so i want these two cells to act as a one cell okay so for that you have this option this is if you see 
the icon over here it is like pushing like this so it is saying that you want to merge the cell so it can be merge and center and you have other options merge across merge cell and merge so if i let's say I, if i have written ratan here and i have written gupta here okay if i merge it what will happen so i press merge and center okay it says that the selection contains multiple values okay merging into one cell will keep only the upper left most data so it means that whatever information you have it will be lost and it will be overwritten by this data so let's say i say okay i say okay i am not worried okay so it means that now it is merged so you can see that if i press this uh, blue button okay fill button you see that b and c are merged into one okay so that is the, that is one uh, way you can merge the cell here we have merge and center okay if if you see merge across okay so let me see so what this merge across is it will not do the center so suppose i have written ratan here okay and i want to merge these two i say merge across so if you see ratan is remaining here but it is it is the cells are merged right then you have another option if you see that you have merged cell if let's say suppose all these cells i want to make it one cell okay so you may see that i can click here and i can press merge cell so all of these cells have become one cell so if you if you put all the borders you can see only one border if you see here if i put all the border there will be multiple borders but once i merge it okay let's say if i merge this okay and it will become only one cell so benefit of this merging is let's say suppose you want to declare many information okay so you can uh, include all this information here right so whatever you want to write the only problem is when you are including this it it is not showing so you have to wrap the text so once you wrap the text you can include okay next is many times what happens is suppose let's say we want to write something okay and if we have merged this kind of cell okay what will happen is it will go like this okay so so if you want to include it in the second line you can press alt enter okay so alt enter if you press it will come in the second line if you press again alt enter you will come in the second line you if you press only enter you will find that it will not come so just as an example okay if i am writing okay and i press enter i will come here okay and it excel will think that you have finished the work so it will bring you here and not into the next line so if you want to include in this uh, text in this area only the next line you have to press alt enter and you can write it right so these are your working with the alignment and merge cell it is very useful now if you want to get back to your original state you can unmerge it so if you see if you unmerge whatever the content is there it will come in the first cell so all the content is there so if you want to see just wrap the text only the thing is that when you are wrapping it is not showing just you can increase the column uh, row width you can see the all the information that is there so try to play around all this it gives you a very good okay uh, a practice and you will learn only once uh, you start playing i have also uh, learned the same way i also don't know many of the things you, so you are seeing that i am learning along with you in this particular video so note that nobody is uh, perfect we learn okay so let's see